Hello everyone, this is Mayank and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll discuss about one particular stock which is a market leader in its own segment and this particular stock belongs to infrastructure sector. So before we jump into a discussion of the stock in particular, we'll discuss about the infrastructure sector, we'll understand some few points about it. We'll also look into the how the budget also impacts this particular sector. There was a video which I created on the day of the budget, how sector will get impacted because of budget. Infrastructure is one of the sector. If you want to watch that video, you can search on the channel or you can search on Mankri Party stocks or I'll leave the link in the description also. So you can watch the video. So let's jump into the infrastructure discussion first. So infrastructure as a sector, if you see the government has pushed a lot in this budget. The government has allocated 7.5 lakh crore of capex for financial year 22-23. So basically what government is thinking that and government has already been pushing infrastructure in India. And there's a lot of expansion going on in terms of roads, rail connection, and of logistics also because government says that if all the roads or connectivity is good, that will reduce the time which takes to transport from goods from one part of the country to other part of the country. So logistics will be more sorted. This will save fuel cost, this will save time, and this will save the increase the life value of the product because if it suppose the product is perishable and it takes a lot of time to transport from one part to other part, then there's a lot of wastage. So having a good connectivity in the road, in terms of rail, uh, gives benefit a lot of things in a lot of different ways. So for that, government is giving a capex of 7.5 lakh crores. We'll see one by one various points. So to achieve all these things, government want to add a lot of spaceway for faster movement of, uh, as I told you, different, different uh, uh, logistic parts. Okay. Then national highways will be expanded by 25,000 kilometers. Currently, we, whatever we have, additional 25,000 kilometers we added this year so that more and more places are connected by national highway. Then multimodal logistic park at four locations through PPP. So what is PPP? PPP is public private partnership model. So basically what happens? Uh, private companies uh, implement some project which is given by government and a revenue from the project is also taken by the private companies for a certain period of time. A simple example for these are toll. So government allows these uh, companies to create roads on that they can put a toll and they can collect money to the toll for 20 years, 15 years, 10 years. Depends on the agreement what happens with the company between government and the private company. So similarly, the logistics part will set up four locations and all these lo uh, logistics will be park will be created based on PPP model. So why government does PPP model? Because government doesn't have to infuse fund from their own pocket, private company does this and in return, private companies get the money through toll. So private companies assess the expressway. For example, expressway has been done in terms of PPP model. I'll give me just an example. So whenever somebody implements the highway or expressway in terms of PPP model, the private companies goes to analysis and see how many vehicle can pass through this expressway. And if I put this much of toll in 10 years, example, 10 years time is the PPP uh, model time then how much money I can make. So it's a win-win for everyone. Government doesn't need to put money up front. And since private companies have to get money and so they will do the project in a better way. And also private companies make a lot of money there because they have an analysis in their own hand how much vehicles, how many vehicles will pass in the 10 years time frame. So this PPP model works very well. It has worked for uh, Delhi Metro also in the past. Right. So this is what is coming for logistics side also then metro will be reinvented that means how the metro station is designed how the metro is functioning what are different elements in the station all these things will be designed so that the efficiency can be increased so this all are part of infrastructure improvement right then contracts of eight ropeway project through ppp again ppp comes to the picture so government will establish eight ropeway to increase connectivity just to give an example uh, from in Assam over the Brahmaputra river, this expressway this ropeway has been created which reduces the time of transportation from one part of the Brahmaputra to the next part. So that ropeway has been done. So this was also done by PPP model. Similarly, government will implement eight ropeway in different parts of the country which will go through PPP model. So these all are parts of infrastructure development. So, okay. so now to do all these things, we need different uh, kind of materials. For example, to construct a road, we need cement, we need uh, your a lot of elements, I, I don't know the names of it, but we know the tar, we need stones, we need uh, your uh, cement and we need manpower and some machineries and everything. So all these 
overall the company which deal into this segment different way suppose cement company some companies will get benefited uh, the companies which implement the projects for dilip bilcon ashoka bilcon this company will get benefited then companies which do project management like quest crop and all they also get benefited so a lot of companies in this entire infrastructure pushed by government get many get benefited one of the company one of the sector which can get benefited a lot is cement so cement is something which is going to get benefit a lot because no matter what you create cement will be used if you create a bridge cement will be used create a highway bridge will be used oh, sorry cement will be used if you create expressway cement will be used if you create a ropeway to create that uh, what i say the create the base or create the stations of ropeway you need cement so no matter what infrastructure development you do two or three things are always required one is steel second is your uh, cement and few other things also are required no matter what kind of infrastructure development you do so here comes the cement as a sector so since it was cement is one of the most primary used or it's used in every kind of infrastructure development sorry so we'll discuss about cement now so we've seen the infrastructure sector we have we so if we drill down further we'll see cement as a sector and the stock also belongs to the cement sector only so cement when it comes to cement india is the second largest cement producer in the world and india produces 7.7% of global production is done in india which is approximately 545 million tons so india is a prime consumer of cement also prime producer of cement so after china india is the largest producer of cement so also why it india produces quality cement and why is largest producer because india have lot of reserve of quality limestone deposits so india has throughout the country spread uh, good quality limestones through which india can produce a lot of cement and that's the reason india is ranking second in the world going forward in 2022 cement production will increase by 12% why because the toll government is pushing a lot of infra and because of this cement required will be more and cement production will also increase and not only infra infra doesn't mean only road and highways or tolls and things like that infra also mean housing okay since because of work from home people have shifted to their own hometown people need more space so they need they want to construct some people want to see that if work from continues then they will not buy flat or any kind of society in bangalore or kolkata or chennai any metro city rather they will buy a, a small house in their hometown or closest city basically tier 4 cities tier 3 cities so small housings in the range of 40 50 lakhs are also getting uptick in the demand because of that also cement production will increase so there will rise the rural housing demand infrastructure focus so both will contribute to the demand of cement which will eventually increase the production by 12% and 12% is huge it's it's a very good number it's not just mere single digit number in in terms of infrastructure sorry 34.9% infrastructure is in roads 8.7% in metros 36 33.6% in railways so a lot of things are going on clsa which predicts expect 14% year on year increase in ebitda in the cement market for its coverage stock so basically a lot of stocks in the market ultratech cement acc cement shri cement and then uh, there, there are many you can go through and understand, understand uh, what these companies and all lot of companies are there so all these companies sell us expect that a- around 14% increase will be year on year revenue for some of the stocks which they recommend basically right so this is what is done by cls overall what i mean overall infrastructure will get a push and inside infrastructure cement sector will be growing very fast from year onwards because of and this is not a one year story this is going to be for longer time in one year you cannot create infrastructure of a country as big as india right so this is a multi year game and starts now it's always started few years couple of years back but government is pushing more and more with every year so cement is going to get a prime uh, share of the infrastructure and it will keep on increasing every year since we discussed about cement now let's jump into the stock which we want to discuss today so the stock what we want to discuss today is ultratech cement and if you talk about cement one point we missed here is india is a good exporter of cement also to sri lanka nepal us ue and bangladesh so it's not about uh, so whatever india produce it's not only consuming within the country they also export as well as stock is ultratech cement so ultratech cement is a market leader in terms of uh, cement business in india they are a big brand and they have been doing great they have a very good large market cap also so they have installed capacity of 117 million ton per annum so that's a huge in terms of 
if you see why i'm saying huge because they have 24 percent total capacity in india so there are a lot of companies if you go to screener if you see uh as i told you ultra tech 3 acc and then few others also a lot of see a lot of stocks are there out of which just one company has 24 percent total capacity in india that's a huge huge number they have more than 50 integrated plants so it's not plants it's plants with 80 percent capacity utilization so they have more than 50 plants and all 50 have more than 80 percent capacity utilization that means the product is very high in demand and they are doing optimum optimum utilization of their capacity that means their overall profitability and overall use overall uh, numbers and balance sheet also looks very strong so there is no wastage as such they are the largest company in india and i told you if you are a company with 24 percent total capacity that means you automatically become the largest company in india and they are the third largest in the world it means a lot they have brands like ultratech cement ultratech concrete and few other brands also you can go to the website and get a hang of it what different brands and all they sorry uh, they have distribution network of 30000 dealers 64000 retailers and 2100 ubs outlets i don't know what is ubs if you know about what is ubs you can let me in the comment section this is taken from their website so from the financial reports so, and a fleet of 37600 trucks they operate in multiple countries uae bahrain sri lanka and india they also acquired binani cement and more cement cement division of century because of which they had expansion market in china and bangladesh also which they came out of it we'll talk about it in this particular slide so then 95.5 percent revenue comes from india and 5.5 percent foreign countries if you go back and see out of all these companies uae bahrain sri lanka and india they get only 5.5 percent in sales remaining all comes from india only they spend 25 crore on r d to launch new products to become a market leader you need to keep innovating you need to keep getting new product in the market to get new product in the market you need to keep investing r d and this company spends 25 crore on r d now when it comes to cement as a consumer we have a idea that every cement is same some are good quality some are bad quality but we don't we can't think that can be r d on cement and multiple version of cement can also be made so this is something which as a consumer don't understand but as a company if you want to become a leader you have to do an r d no matter how basic the product looks they are focused on green power utilization so this is very important because the cement is a very high uh, intensive business where you need to keep running the plant keep running the machine is and need a lot of power right so as a company ultratech cement is pushing for green power when it comes to green power the they want to achieve a target of 34 percent by 2024 so that means 34 percent power supply to all their factories will be through green power so when it comes to green power they have two parts one is generating green power from waste heat and solar so out of 34 percent eight percent will be done through solar remaining 26 percent they will do through waste heat management right so this is what they're trying to do by 2020 this also saves a lot of money electricity also which a company of this big size as i told you they acquired banana cement and cement division of uh, century textiles basically not banana cement they acquired banana cement completely and acquired cement division of uh, not banana cements but century textiles and but after acquire also they closed their plants in china and they closed the plants in bangladesh also in 19 and 20 respectively so this is how the company does this was the business now let's back to fundamental so fundamentally i checked few things in uh, ticker tape so probability is low quality checks are good and growth score is very good the stock price currently when i'm creating the video is 6050 it might change when you watch the video 52 week low was 5817 so this stock currently is very closely priced to their 50 week 52 week low it was even less than this when uh, we uh, on friday so friday the stock was around less than 6000 rupees it was very close to the 52 week low the stock p is 26.9 where median p for last five years is 37.3 so that means there is a bandwidth of around 40 percent increase in terms of stock p so that means the p can expand more than 40 percent to reach its median p that means the price can go high from here to reach the median p so what happens when median p to increase the p either the price should increase or earnings should increase right so right now since p is 26.9 then earning is more right price is less but to reach the median p the price should increase so then 40 percent expansion option is over there it's a very very important point then other point for companies company companies consistently reducing debt 
then cash conversion cycle has improved to minus 14 in the previous video also i discussed about cash conversion cycle there will be a video which i'll put where i'll discuss the implication of cash conversion cycle in a company but cash conversion cycle of minus 14 is cash conversion cycle of negative is considered to be best normal if it's one day also it's very good but 10 days also it's very very good but minus 14 is exceptional in terms of cash conversion cycle so for this year the company ultratech has a cash conversion cycle of minus 14 which is immensely good inventory days also have been improved so when you say improvement in inventory days that means the time period for which they keep the inventory with them has reduced so this also a good sign because that means the company is the time between manufacturing and time between selling the product to the dealers or retailers that is reducing day by day that means the cycle or cash flow basically uh, the cycle of cash flow is moving very in efficient manner so this is about the fundamentals of the company so we've seen the business we've seen the sectors we've seen the business we've seen the fundamentals now we'll go back and see the technicals also so before we see the technical we need to see what kind of sales and revenue this company is doing for last four five years so you see last four years every year they're increasing their sales from 31.57 thousand crores to 42 thousand crores 43 thousand crores 45.61 thousand crores same is going to profit also 2.22 2.40 5.76 5.46 so every passing year they're increasing in sales and uh, sorry revenue and profit also so fundamentally everything is good in this stock technically when we talk about we have a target so for your technical analysis the stock has corrected a lot from this point to here and this is because every stock is getting bitten there is nothing wrong the numbers are very good sales is increasing revenue is increasing inventory days are getting better then their uh, cash converse cycle is getting better and they are on the market leader in this segment sector is also getting better so everything is good about the company this only a uh, market correction is going on throughout the market not only for this particular stock and this brings to us a good opportunity you might have seen all together by now the first graph is target one which is 30 percent the price which is is 7894 second is 37.12 percent price is 8272 this is uh, my understanding this is a minimum target you will get in terms of chart that might cross also some some analyst supports that the target is around 50 percent okay so the target can vary between 30 to 50 percent so this stock is a leader i as i told you everything about this stock so you can decide whether you want to invest in the stock or not if you think it's helpful for you please do your own due diligence before investing don't just uh, see a video and invest blindly on any of the stocks so if this video is helpful for you if you think that this video can help you generate more profit from stock market do like the video do share with your friends family and hit the subscribe button if you're not so far give your comments in the feedback thank you so much for watching stay happy stay safe